We're going to talk through the proximal hamstring and we start on the medial side, identifying the fascial plane. All this is adductor madness with a small tendon of the adductor madness there. So we're first going to we're going to first identify the muscular tendinous junction of the semi membranosus, which is a triangle that starts in this area here and it gets bigger as we go distally. I'm going to go back proximally and then big distally so the membranosus muscle coming up. You follow the deep fascial plane and then there's a tadpole, like a nodule in the fascial plane, which is the semi membranosus tendon. And then we follow up further laterally, you see the next structure is the sciatic nerve in the fascial plane and we follow the fascial plane all the way to the lateral side until the end of the compartment. Go back to the sciatic nerve. Above the sciatic nerve is the conjoint tendon of the biceps and the semitendinosus. Semitendinosus on the medial side, and we can see in intramuscular roughhead of the semitendinosus when we go proximal and distal. Now, once we have identified all the structures, we're going to um, move it up proximally to see if we can follow them up to the attachments. So, conjoint tendon, semimembranosus tendon, and they are going to move slowly towards each other as we go proximal. Sciatic nerve stays where it is. And there it comes. We go, go up until we reach the bone and the attachment. There. Now that's an oblique picture, so we need to move the probe and so we can see a little bit better its footprint. And on the lateral side is the sciatic nerve. When we spin on it, we can see the longitudinal aspect of the, of the hamstrings. And with this, we need to bear in mind that on the medial side, there's a sore tendon and a muscle belly identified next to it, which is basically the muscle belly with semitendinosus. Semimembranosus lies more lateral and is a thick tendon. So that's the way to identify both structures. Medial, muscle belly with a short tendon, semitendinosus.